This strange little creature is a strand beast, a product of the creative mind of Dutch artist Theo Janssen. Powered by the wind, his creations can be found marching along the beaches of Holland. Janssen calls his dynamic sculptures strand beasts, in English, beach animals. I recently constructed a small beach animal from a kit. The design is remarkable. The compelling architecture and elegant mechanics of his creations confirm Janssen's genius. If you are teaching science or engineering, this little mechanical creature is a walking physics lab. Following the force from the wind to the moving legs is a good lesson in levers, gears, torque and rotary and reciprocal motion. The wind blades and arms act as levers, transferring force from the wind to the drive gear located at the hub. The drive gear has 12 teeth. It engages with this large 80 tooth compound gear, giving a reduction ratio of 1 to 6.7. The small gear on the compound gear meshes with this larger final drive gear, producing a further reduction. This completed gear train produces a total reduction ratio of 1 to 25. This means the windmill blades must make 25 rotations to rotate the final output gear once. This arrangement also produces a significant mechanical advantage, multiplying the force from the wind some 25 times. This force is delivered from the final output gear to the crankshaft. The crankshaft converts rotary motion to reciprocating motion, the back and forth motion that drives the strong beast's legs. As I mentioned, I constructed this small model from a kit. You can find these kits at strandbeast.com, along with some amazing videos of Janssen's large creations. The kit I used was well engineered. The instructions are clear and it is easy to correct mistakes because the kit can be disassembled. For me, assembly time was about two hours. It is also possible to acquire this strand beast already assembled. Incredibly, they are produced by a 3D printer, fully assembled and ready to go. If you have access to a 3D printer, there are printer files available on the internet. You can use these to print your own strand beast. Here's a challenge. How many RPM, that's revolutions per minute, is the windmill turning at on this strand beast? You can figure that out by observing this video. All the information you need is available there. You will need a precision timer and you can assume the gear reduction ratio is 25 to 1. That is, the windmill turns 25 times for every single turn of the crankshaft. You can find the solution at hyloroad.com slash strandbeast. We also have more science and technology related videos at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the video link.